sixth grade module 5 lesson 14 problem set number one the volume of a rectangular prism is 21 twelfths feet cubed and the height of the prism is 3 fourths feet determine the area of the base so remember the volume is equal to area of the base times height or length times width times height but length times width is the area of the base so we can combine those. So they give us the volume, 21 twelfths feet cubed is equal to area of the base, we don't know, so I'm just gonna say the area of the base times the height they gave us is 3 fourths feet. So what we need to do, since we've multiplied here, we're gonna divide by 3 fourths, so backtrack so that we can figure out what just b alone equals. So 21 twelfths divided by 3 fourths. I'm going to flip and multiply. So we have 21 twelfths times, flip this over, 4 thirds. 21 times 4 is 84 and 12 times 3 is 36. So we have 84 36. Um, so we can reduce that, but I'm going to make it a mixed number first. So 36 can go into 84 probably twice. 36 times 2 is 72. So we get 2 and 12 36. So 12, 12 36, we can reduce. They both are divisible by 12. So we get 1 third. So 2 and 1 third feet cube, uh, squared, because we're just looking for area of the base. So feet squared is the area of the base. Number 2. The volume of a rectangular prism is 10 21st feet cubed. The area of the base is 2 thirds feet squared. Determine the height of the rectangular prism. So remember, volume equals area of the base times the height. So the volume is 10 21st feet cubed, and that's equal to the area of the base, which is 2 thirds feet squared, times the height. We don't know the height. So we're going to divide by 2 thirds so that we can get the height alone. So 10 21st divided by 2 thirds. So I'm going to flip and multiply. So 10 21st times 3 halves is 30 40 seconds. And what I can do is, let's see, 30 and 42, they're both divisible by 6. So we get five sevenths. And we're just looking for the height, so it was five sevenths feet is equal to the height. Number three, determine the volume of the space in the tank that still needs to be filled with water if the water is one third feet deep. So we wanna know the space that still needs to be filled with water if the water here is one third. Okay, so remember volume is equal to, they haven't given us the area of the base, so length times width times height. So we know that the length is five feet. The width is one and two thirds feet. And then the height is the one thing we need to figure out. So this part is one third. The whole thing is two, so I'm gonna take two and subtract one third from it to get me the remaining height that is not yet filled with water, this height right here. So two minus one third would be one and two thirds. So this height is one and two thirds, the height of this part right here before the water. So one and two thirds feet is the height. So I'm gonna do Five, make them all frac improper fractions, times one and two thirds is five thirds, times another five thirds, 
5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125. 1 times 3 times 3 is 9. We get 125 ninths feet cubed, but I'm going to make that a mixed number. 9 can't go into 1, it goes into 12 once. Bring down the 5, 9 goes into 35 three times. It's 27. We get not 13 and 8 left over out of 9. So it's equal to 13 and 8 ninths feet cubed is the volume that needs to be filled in this whole space right here. Number four, determine the volume of the composite figure. Okay, so I'm going to make it, you could either make it into three rectangular prisms like that, or I'm gonna make it into two. So connect it right there. So we're gonna have a back one, A, and the front one, B. So the volume of A, the length, the whole length of A is 3 fourths meters. The width right here is 1 eighth meter. And then the height is 1 third meter. For B, the length is a fourth of a meter. The width right here it says it's also one eighth meter. And then the height is one third meter. So let's solve A first. We have three fourths times one eighth times one third. We equal to three. Four times eight is 32. 32 times three is 96, so three ninety-sixths. And then B, one fourth times one eighth times one third is one. Four times eight is 32. Times three is, we already did that, 96. So 396 plus 196 is equal to 496 meters cubed. Or if we reduced it, we can divide both 4 and 96 by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 96 divided by 4 is 24. So we get together, they're equal to 1 24th meters cubed is the volume. Let's call that total volume of A and B, or just the entire composite figure. Number five, determine the volume of the composite figure. Okay, so we have, looks like we have two rectangular prisms kind of stacked on top of each other. So I'm gonna do, I'll call them T and B for top and bottom. So let's start with the top. The length is one inch. The width, right here is one and one fourth inch and then the height of just this part is one and a half inch so then bottom the bottom one the length is three inches the width is two and a half inches and the height is one fourth inch so let's solve. I'll start with this B since we're already here. So three times two and a half would be five halves times one fourth. Three times five is 15. One times two is two times four is eight. 15 eighths, which is equal to one and seven eighths inches cubed. So that's the volume of B, the bottom one. The top one would be one times one and one fourth is five fourths times one and one half is three halves 
we get 15 eighths again which is equal to 1 and 7 eighths inches cubed so if we add them together to figure out the total volume we would have 1 and 7 eighths inches cubed plus 1 and 7 eighths inches cubed so we would have 2 and 7 plus 7 14 eighths and 14 eighths would be 1 and 6 eighths or 1 and 3 fourths plus this 2 our whole number we get 3 and 3 fourths inches cubed as the total volume. Number six. A, write an equation to represent the volume of the composite figure. Okay, so we can either break it in half like that, or we could do it horizontally like this. And I'm going to Let's see, it doesn't really matter. Let's do it the other way though. Because I don't see many measurements over there. So let's call it left and right. So the volume of the left one, the length is, let's see, the whole length is seven and one fourth. This is three and a half. So we would need to do seven and one fourth minus three and a half to figure out the length of just this section right here. So find a common denominator, seven and one fourth minus three and two fourths, but we can't do one fourth minus two fourths. So I'm gonna make this six and five fourths minus three and two fourths, which would give me three and three fourths. So the length of this is three and three fourths. So we would have three and three fourths meters times the width right here. It looks like it's the same width all the way down here, here, here. So it's two meters. And then the height, this part is one, but we need the whole height. So this is one this part is one and one fourth. So if we add one plus one and one fourth together, that would be two and one fourth meters. So then the right, the right prism, the length is three and a half meters. The width is two meters and the height is one and one fourth by two meters by one and one fourth meter. So if we wanted to write an equation, we would have, we're gonna take the left one and add it to the right one. So three and three fourths meters plus, or no, times, we haven't gotten to the adding yet, times two meters, times two and one fourth meters, plus three and a half meters times two meters times one and one fourth meter. Use your equation to calculate the volume of the composite figure. Okay, so now let's solve. So three and three fourths, let's make that improper fraction, would be three times four is 12, plus three is 15 fourths times two over one times two and one fourth would be nine fourths. We're gonna add that to three and a half would be seven halves times two times one and one fourth is five fourths. So 15 times two is 30. 30 times nine, three times nine is 27, so plus a zero, so we get 270. Four times one times four is 16. 270 sixteenths plus seven times two is 14. 14 times five is 70. And two times one times four is eight. 
So we need to be able to add these together, so we need a common denominator. And I notice that this is sixteenths, this is eighths. So I could either make them into eighths, or I could make this into sixteenths, or I can make this into eighths. I'm going to reduce. I'm going to divide by 2 over 2 to make this into eighths. So 270 divided by 2. Bring down the 7. 2 goes into 7 3 times. 10 and 2 goes into five, 10 5 times. So we get 135. So this is equal to 135 eighths plus the 70 eighths and 135 plus 70 is 205 and then remember when we're adding the denominator stays the same so we get 205 eighths and let's make that it would be meters cubed, but let's make it an improper or a mixed number. 205 divided by 8, 8 goes into 20 twice, 8 goes into 45, let's see, 5 times, that's 40, so we have 5 left over, so we get 25 and 5 left over out of 8, so it's 25 and 5 eighths meters cubed would be the volume of that composite figure all the way up here.